Hello, beautiful yogis, and welcome to day four of your five-day yoga challenge. Today's theme is fortitude. We're going to start in an easy seat, so take a second, a few breaths to ground down, pressing your sitting bones into your mat, reaching the crown of your head up. Take a deep inhale. And then as you exhale, I want you to walk your hands in front of your knees as you fold your head down. I want your fingertips to be on the ground outside of the line of your knees. So your arms are straight and wide. And here, feel free to kind of move your head, your neck, your shoulders, and wiggle down into this fold. And when you find stillness, come home to your breath. Fortitude today is about keeping a balance and harmony in your life against all its challenges. The balance of flexibility and fluidity and consistency, of expansion and contraction, of a sense of form without this rigidity. Can we stay soft and human in a world that wants us to be hard and superhuman? Pick up your head to gaze forward and crawl your body over your knees, coming into a tabletop. Tuck your toes under, press your hands into the mat, and then pick up your knees to hover. We're starting with these scapula push-ups. So as you inhale, drop your chest down. As you exhale, press your chest up. Inhale down, exhale up. Your elbows stay straight, inhale down, exhale up. And last time, inhale down and exhale, press them up. Now reach only your right leg straight and then press back into a downward dog so your right heel is fully on the ground, your left leg is bent. Now release your left foot from the ground, inhale three-legged dog, and then as you exhale, bring your leg down, shift your weight forward into a three-legged high plank. Inhale up, three-legged dog, exhale, three-legged high plank. Inhale up, three-legged dog, and exhale, three-legged high plank. Exhale, chaturanga, drop both feet to the ground. Inhale, cobra pose, your thighs are on the ground, and then exhale, roll your body all the way down. Return to your tabletop with your knees hovering. Now to engage your core, with your knees hovering, I want you to drop your belly, lift your gaze. Exhale, round your spine up, send your chin to your chest. These cat cows with hovering knees really encourages this balance between release, but knowing your body and keeping its balance. Extend your left leg long and straight, and then press your belly back towards your thigh so your left heel comes to the ground, your right leg is bent. Take a breath in, and as you inhale, send your right heel back behind you, three-legged dog. Exhale, forward, high plank. Inhale, back behind you. Exhale, forward, three-legged high plank. Inhale, up and back, and exhale, three-legged plank. Chaturanga your arms, and when you're at the bottom, you bring your feet to the mat. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, roll all the way down, tuck your toes under into an active child's pose. Take two breaths in, in through your nose and out through your mouth. And another. On your next inhale, roll your body up into a tabletop, keeping your knees as they are. Bring your right hand under your shoulder, but flip so the top of your hand is on the ground and your fingertips are pointing towards your knee. Hold and breathe and only allow the pressure that feels good to you. Flip your palm now so the palm of your hand is on the ground but your fingertips are still facing your knee and press your hips a little bit back to stretch out your wrist. Gently release this stretch bringing your right hand normal and now your left top of your hand will find the ground your fingertips facing your knee. Again apply this pressure gently just to decompress your wrist joint. Inviting movement back, we're going to bring our palms to the ground, our fingertips still facing your knee, so the crease of your elbow is facing in front, and then bring your hips a few inches back to stretch out your forearm and your wrist. Hold here and breathe. Bring both hands to normal position under your shoulders, pick your hips up and back into downward dog, and then walk your hands towards your feet. When you arrive at the back of your mat, inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, fold. Soften your tailbone down, inhale, rise all the way up, reach up. Your palms will come together and as you fold through your midline, when you get low enough, bend your knees and walk your hands out to a high plank. Hold in this high plank for three breaths. Once you've had your breaths, exhale chaturanga, hold in the chaturanga for three breaths. Trying to keep a straight line from your heel to the crown of your head, your elbows tucked to the midline. Once you've had your three breaths here, drop your body all the way down to the mat. Inhale, baby cobra. 
and exhale, lower. Tuck your toes under, travel through a tabletop, back to a downward dog. Lift your right leg back and up behind you, three-legged dog. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, bring your knee to the very highest point on your right tricep as you can. As you inhale, slowly trace your knee down towards your wrist, and as you exhale, pull it fast back up. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. And then step forward, low lunge with both hands to the inside of your leg, lizard pose. Be strong in the back leg, inhale your chest forward, your gaze forward, and then as you exhale, round your spine, your hips will lift a little bit higher, your chin will come to your chest. Inhale forward, and exhale round. One more time, inhale forward, and exhale round. Next time you inhale, you can drop your left knee to the mat and perhaps coming to your forearms. So find the variation that works for you. You want as flat a back as possible. So if your back is super rounded or it doesn't feel good, you can stay on your palms. Everyone make your way to both hands on the ground and inhale your right arm up so you're in a twist. As you exhale, we're gonna take your right elbow towards your right toes and inhale up and twist. One more full round, inhale up and exhale, we go down. Inhale your right arm up to a twist. And now what we're gonna do is take this front foot, trying to keep your knee bent, we're gonna rotate to a side plank. Can you reach your right hand to touch your knee? Exhale, and then inhale, extend your leg, extend your arm, and we come to become a star. Hold for one more breath. And then stack your ankles, bring your hand down. And exhale, we come to a high plank. Exhale, chaturanga, to hold for three, two, one, and then drop all the way down to your belly. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, roll up to your belly and back through a tabletop to a downward dog. Root down through your right foot. Inhale, your left heel up and back. Same thing, knee to high up on your tricep. Inhale, we trace it down and exhale, explode up. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Bring the sole of your foot to the edge of the mat, both hands to the inside. Inhale your chest and head forward and exhale, kind of pick up your hips round your spine. Inhale forward and exhale round. Moving to the pace of your breath. When you're ready, you can drop that right knee to the ground and come to your forearms. Or if you wanna stay on your palms, that is perfectly fine as well. I recommend untucking your toes and then when you pick up your back knee, tuck your toes under, reach your left arm up. And as you exhale, left elbow to left toes. Inhale up, exhale, left elbow to left toes. And last time, inhale up, hold and take that front leg to a side plank, keeping your knee bent. Can you touch your palm to your thigh and then extend your leg, extend your arm, embracing all of the wobbles as you're in a star plank. Stack your ankles, reach your right arm up and exhale, and exhale, we come into a high plank. Take a breath in and then exhale, chaturanga to hold for three, two, one. Rather than going down, press up. Come to the tops of both feet and then slowly drip your hips down to an upward dog, arm straight, thighs off the ground. Exhale, downward dog, pedal out your feet. Take a breath in and walk your hands back towards your feet, towards the back of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift and exhale, fold. Ragdoll your arms on either side of your legs, allowing your back, your neck, your shoulders, your head to just completely surrender to gravity. Soften your tailbone down towards your heels as you rise up into a chair pose. Keep your knees bent. One-legged Tadasana, we're gonna lift our right leg into our chest and then extend that leg long, pressing your heel through the room and then step forward into a warrior three. Your left leg is floating, your arms are behind you. Bring your hands to the ground and soften your left knee behind your right, doing like a curtsy. Inhale up, exhale, curtsy. Inhale up, exhale, curtsy. And last time, inhale up, and then we stack our shoulders, stack our hips into a half moon pose, rooting down through our right fingertips, reaching our left fingertips up. Reach your back leg back, and we land in a warrior two. Exhale, lean into your back leg, bring your hands to prayer, straighten your front leg. Inhale forward, and exhale, shift your weight back. Inhale forward, warrior two, and exhale, shift your weight back. And then finally, lean yourself forward, warrior two pose, gaze over your middle finger. 
We transition into a high crescent lunge by dropping our back hand up and forward, coming up on our back toes, inhale deeply, reach up, and exhale, frame your front foot. Step back into a downward dog. Walk your hands back towards your toes. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, fold. Soften your body, inhale, chair pose, hands high. Root down through your right foot, inhale your left heel up, one-legged Tadasana, extend that heel, step, big step forward. As you hinge your body forward, warrior three, and fly, your right leg is behind you. Keeping your hands floating up in front of you, curtsy down, inhale, exhale, warrior three. Inhale, curtsy, your hands go up, exhale, warrior three. Last time, inhale, curtsy, gaze forward, exhale, warrior three, and then root down through your left hand, reach your right arm up, stacking your hips, stacking your shoulders, half moon. Soften your knee and your back foot will reach behind you and we land in a warrior two, making sure your back foot is parallel to the back of the mat. Skandasana, bend into your back knee and then we open our arms, we come forward. Inhale forward, warrior two, exhale, prayer hand, skandasana. Inhale forward, warrior two and hold. Gaze over your middle finger, making sure your knee is not splaying to the inside. Drop your hand behind you and forward, high crescent lunge, and then frame your front foot, low lunge, and step back, downward dog. Pedal out your feet, and keep that pedal of your feet as you walk your feet towards your hands. As you get closer to your hands, I want you to drop your tailbone down and reach your arms forward so you're forming this tiny ball. Squat as low as possible, and then eventually you'll fall and roll backwards, massaging the muscles along your spine. Roll up to a boat, your shins parallel to the ground, and then extend your legs, keeping your arms reaching. Begin rocking again, but this time catching yourself at the top. This will cause your core to engage. Rock one more time. And hold. Drop down to a low boat, inhale up to a high boat. Exhale, low boat, inhale, high boat. Exhale, low boat, inhale, normal boat. Your shins parallel to that, knees bent. Grab behind your hamstrings and then extend your legs up. Cross your right knee over your left. And then we come down as if you're crossing your legs, but your knees are gonna stay into the midline, hug into the midline. We call this Go Mukasana pose. Once you have this and the soles of your feet are facing out, you can reach your left arm up and over your head, stretching your side body. Bring your right arm across your body and you'll swivel out of it into a wide forward fold. Walk towards your left foot and then we're gonna unravel the other way so your other knee is stacked on top. Reach your right arm over your head and side body stretch. So here is the challenge to figure out how to unravel and ravel your body. Now turning the opposite way, reach your left hand across your body and ravel out to a wide forward fold. Here we're gonna stay, reach your left hand to the outer edge of your right ankle, your right arm will twist up and open, and then exhale, twist the other way, reaching right hand to the outer left ankle and your left arm will reach up. After you have exhaled and unraveled, drop your hips, your heels in, your toes out. We are in a yogi squat prayer hands. Close your eyes and feel your breath here. So biggest challenge of the day, we're going to try a crow pose. So drop your hands under your shoulders. We're coming to a squat. Walk your feet towards your hands, but I want you to come up on your toes so you can knit your knees into your triceps as high up as they can go. Press your torso forward, your head more down, leaning into your arms. One foot at a time, pick up your feet, leaving the other on the floor. And then when you're confident enough, shift your torso forward and pick up both feet from the ground, bringing your big toes to touch. Balance for a few seconds and then bring your feet back to the ground. Slowly roll your body up one vertebrae at a time. Inhale your hands tall and exhale your hands to prayer. And then travel down and form this tiny ball. Reach your arms forward and allow yourself to roll backwards. Again, we are rolling back and forth, inviting playful new energy back and releasing tension.
take your last final rolls and then when you feel comfortable, find stillness with your whole body resting on the ground. Bend your left knee into your chest and then drop it over to your right, twisting your spine, extend your left arm and look over your left shoulder. Relax down with your exhales and find stillness. Recenter your hips, allow this left leg to grow long, bend your right knee into your chest and then drop your right knee to the left side of your body, extend your left hand and look over your left shoulder. Again, finding stillness, but surrendering with each exhale, any tension that might be lingering. Finally, unravel your right leg and then press both legs long on the mat. Your hands will fall open to your sides in a form of surrender as you have reached Shavasana. Allow your breath to travel from the tips of your toes to the crown of your head and every cell in between. Invite energy and life to your body Begin to trust your aliveness, your judgment, your desires, your goals. Trust your inner voice. Please stay here for as long as you can possibly stay here for and enjoy the effects of Shavasana. Thank you for showing up for yourself and rolling out your mat today. Namaste.